Hey everyone. So once again, we are stuck at the mercy of the Freeport guards. Uh, this time, I don't want to go train. I want to go bank. Uh, and obviously, you know the the wolf form trick works. The only problem with that is when you zone, like when you change zone, it, the illusion will wear off. So if I wanted a, a druid to help me to bank, he'd have to run me all the way into the next zone, wolf form me again, come to the bank with me, then wait till I finish, and then wolf form me again on the way out. So I decided to ask that nice wizard just you just saw there if she could throw an invis on me, which she did. And then uh, there's a neat little trick you can do to bank. Um, if you go in this little corridor here, and you go into third person, and you zoom your camera out, you can actually click the bank dude uh, through the wall without aggroing him or the guards and you just kind of bank in here which is really really handy um, the only problem now is I have to wait for someone to come along to invis me to get out uh, but it just so happened that as I was banking this uh, chamois was in here so I just asked him to hit me up with an invis and he he did so it was just really lucky and good timing. Um, so that was me. I just banked in and out just like that. Easy. Uh, so I'm 21 right now. I'm almost 22. We are currently, um, I was leaving, kind of a bit sick of Oasis. So decided I was going to move on. Um, I was going to go check out Lake of Ill Omen, um, but on the way I just took the raft from the oasis um, through to Timorous Deep here, and right where the boat comes, the dock here, I remember, you remember the, the ogre village you would have seen me run through in a previous episode, uh, it turns out these guys are uh, all, you know, 15 to 20-ish, um, so I figured I was kind of started killing them while I waited for the boat, and they were pretty good XP and no one was here, so it wasn't contested. Um, so I figured might as well start killing him and yeah they turned out to be pretty good XP so uh, the boat came and I was like got on it and I'm like oh, do I really want to leave and I uh, decided not to um, and just decided to stay and just farm for a bit uh, the faction they're on is Veneral Sathia oh, look, right as I say that another dude's here um, Veneral Sathia is if you're an ogre or a troll or a dark elf, you might not want to kill them. The, it's the same faction used in the over there. So that town that I ran past on my trip to East Common Lands. Um, there's, a, there's an outpost where you first get on the dock. Um, apparently they're all pretty much under that faction. So if you like to use that area to bank and sell and stuff, if you're not cost, you can't kill you can't plan on killing these guys because you'll ruin your faction there and they'll start to hate you. But you know, I'm an Ixar. Everyone already hates me, so there's nothing really left to, to ruin. But yeah, as you can see it's pretty decent XP, just under half a blue per kill. Um, and they could, they all drop large rawhide and stuff like that, and a bit of gold and silver, so... Um, not bad, especially considering there's, there's no one here. Um, it seems pretty safe. I have Feign Death, uh, worst case. There is a high level here, the Great Oomp, who's very popular. Um, there used to be a bug where you could do some shenanigans with him. I'm not quite sure, but I, I, I'm pretty sure it's been nerfed, so... Um, yeah. I had tried out Najina, um, earlier today. Uh, I went in there, I, it's, I well, didn't have fun, basically, I mean, there are mobs in there that are, they're probably a good level for me, but, um, there was a mage in there looking for his focus items, uh, Najina is a dungeon, um, just past Nectalus Forest, it's, which is the Dark Elf area, um, it's in Lava Storm, and, uh, it's very popular for mages, because, uh, I'm not quite 100% sure, um, what the deal is, but uh, there's some sort of item that they can quest for an item that they can get there that improves their, their elemental pets or something along the lines of that. So basically there was a high level mage in there and he was just clearing out the entire zone. Um, I almost got, I almost died to a train once or twice. So um, I didn't really like it. Everything was being killed and, you know, getting trained, stuff like that. So I decided to skip Najina for now. Um, at some point I do want to try and go to unrest. Um, but I think I kind of need a port to get there because 
I doubt I can make it onto the boat without dying um, in Freeport. But we'll see how we go. So just here in between these two rocks uh, and in some of the various huts around the island, there's a chance for a, a named ogre to spawn called Ugrak the Raider. Uh, he's a Shadow Knight. Uh, he's level 24. He's in, you'll be able to see him, tell him apart because he's in uh, full plate armor. But he uh, has a chance to drop uh, Dark Rust boots and Dark Rust braces, which are really cool because uh, both of them have ace... Uh, Sorry, both, they have AC, obviously, but uh, they have stamina. I think one has like 10 stamina. I can't remember what the other one has. Um, and they're pretty much usable by everyone except cloth uh, wearing casters. So that's uh, another cool thing about this area is... You, uh, oh, they're, they're law, so you can only get one of each, but I did end up getting both of them uh, by the time I left here, which is probably lucky, but still cool. So uh, another very popular spawn for this area is this guy, the Great Oomp. Um, he's a static spawn. Uh, he's level 34. Um, he drops a whole bunch of really cool shit. So you'll often see like high levels just farming him. Uh, he drops stuff like uh, the turtle shell helm, sheer bone mask, chip bone collar, giant snake spun belt, bone arm plates, chip bone bracelet, bone leg plates, uh, bat skull earring, which is really popular. They're like a five intelligence earring. Uh, and the Batfang headband. Uh, he has no faction alignment, so you don't take a faction hit when you kill him, and he's also indifferently uh, when you're not engaged to him. So if you're just running around, he's not going to aggro you if uh, because you're know, like level 20s level here. Um, but that being said, he is social with the other ogres, which you've got to be really careful uh, for, because... Um, if you are fighting uh, another ogre and then they decide to run, or even if you just drag them past him and he sees you fighting them, he will come to help. And if you're fighting those ogres, you're most likely going to be like level 20 something like I am, and he's level 34, like I said before, so he will just wreck you. So that's a bit of a uh, cause for caution. So obviously I'm not high enough level to solo him, um, but these guys here were getting ready for a raid in the zone. Um, and while they were waiting, they were just killing him and, and they were really nice and they were like, oh, why don't you just, uh, beat him down? Um, they will heal it all. Oh, was holding the aggro and that meant I got all the XP, which is really cool. Uh, he's on a really quick spawn timer and he always spawns in the same spot. So, uh, it was a bit of a power leveling too, cause he's, yeah, 10 levels higher than me. So it was really good XP. There's a Spirok camp just behind that hill there that you see in the background. And in the downtime, uh, he was curious to see whether he could uh, help me kill a, a, one of these Spirok watchers. Uh, they're like level 40, but so that was pretty fun too. Um, they have no faction hits, but they are social to each other. So uh, later on that night, after all those guys had, had left, um, Ugrak the Raider spawned. Uh, and as I mentioned before, he is a Shadow Knight. So he harm touched me right off the bat. Um, and for those who don't know, harm touch is, it's like the opposite to the, the paladin lay on hands. Uh, and it's just a massive direct damage burst that they can do once an hour. Uh, so what I ended up having to do was like, he blew through my health and I even used mend. So I had to feign death. Then I regened up and then I initiated him again and I killed his pet. And then I had to feign death again, and then he healed up, and then I initiated him a third time, and finally killed him, and I got uh, the boots, I think. Um, and I, I did kill him once again before I'd left, and I got the braces. So I was really lucky I got uh, both of them um, before I'd left Time Steep. So uh, farming those ogres up, it's a bit of a trip, but you do get a whole bunch of um, fine steel and bronze weapons, and they're definitely worth taking and selling. Um, I had to run all the way back to Oasis, but... So, and they do start weighing you down, obviously. I had like 150 weight out of 109, so I was a bit encumbered, but definitely worth the money. You get a fair bit of coinage uh, from farming there, so. So, uh, Lockjaw's causing havoc. I'm going to try and take him out, see how we go. He's, only, he's yellow to me.
looking back on this video, I didn't realize, but that mage that just ran up, he, he sent me a tell saying, oh, I, I'll help out. And then I got an invite, um, so I hit follow. But the invite was from the rogue that had run up behind me, and I didn't realize. Um, uh, so I probably should have invited both of them, but uh, the mage kind of wasn't in the group, and he missed out on the... I mean, not like it was amazing XP or anything, but still feel like a bit of a dick. But uh, with the three of us, we, we smashed down Lockjaw, and we were the, the heroes of Oasis for all the newbies that he was terrorizing. Dark Elf parts, Halfling parts, High Elf parts. Uh, I see Lockjaw has been a bit busy eating noobs. Uh, he also dropped the vest, but uh, that rogue that came in and helped me kill him uh, didn't have a chest piece, so I let him take it because it's uh, 15 AC or something. What was it? Uh, let me have a look. 12 AC, 5 stamina. It was pretty good. I mean, I could use it, but right now I have the fungi, so I don't need it. So that's going to do it for this week, guys. Uh, Pretty much stayed here from 21 through to 24 before moving on. Tune back next week to see another episode. Uh, and shout outs to Quinara. It's the first person to ever hit me up in game about my videos, um, which is really cool. So hopefully we'll be able to play sometime soon. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next week.